I am Joshua Shi, an 8th grader who has been in the Jazz Workshop, Intermediate Orchestra, Advanced Orchestra, Jazz Ensemble, and Full Orchestra classes. I have been in Mr. Conway's classes since 5th grade. Mr. Conway is very inspiring, calling out the best in everyone, giving tips to succeed in life. This video is dedicated to Mr. Conway, as well as my fellow orchestra and jazz ensemble students. For the students who will leave or stay in the music program, or more importantly, to the new musicians that will join the classes in the Hopkins Music Department, I wish you all the best luck for the coming years. Interview with Mr. Conway. How do you motivate students to love music, and what advice would you give them when they go to the CMEA Homestead, Anaheim, or Great American Music Festivals? I wish I knew the answer to that. <laughs> um, you'd be amazed how many times I get asked that question when I go sit on like, you know, they'll invite me to a college uh, symposium or something for young te teachers or student teachers or whatever, and I say, well, how do you get your students to do all this? Like, um, I think a lot of it just has to do with wanting to be good and having quality and having kind of that expectation um, and getting people to want to do well and want to achieve success. Um, and of course that comes from having achieved success in the past. Um, you know, all I can say is, you know, if you work hard, um, good things happen. And that's not just true in music, it's true in everything. And I think that's maybe what I try to, the thing I hope that people get when they walk out of my class is that they learn that if they work hard good things happen and learning how to work hard and how to work efficiently and work hard um, and I think that transfers over to you know festivals and all that kind of stuff and it transfers over to you know just wanting to be good at something um, it's just the ability to work hard so. multi-instrumentalist I started playing clarinet and I was practicing primarily clarinet because I literally had learned how to play clarinet in a month so that I could do a performance of a professional musical score, or as much of it as I could possibly figure out in a month. The music room at Hopkins is full of fun and surprises. I am waiting to hear the light song, which is my favorite sound, and I haven't heard enough today. Not you, them. Lights are people too. There once was a thing called a grocery store. Too gross. <laughs> they sell food there, though, and it's not very expensive, depending on what you buy. I have zero dollars. <laughs> I think that seems to be a camera for me. It's like a documentary. It is. Through the ages? How long do you think this documentary will come on for? <laughs> no! Mr. Conway on the band programs at Hopkins. We have two jazz bands like this. Uh, we also have three different types of what are called concert bands, which are bigger groups with a lot of these same instruments, but also involve things like maybe flutes and clarinets, um, and uh, other wind instruments. So there's lots of different opportunities to play um, musical instruments when you get into, like I said, fourth grade. 
How did you start the many different levels of orchestra and of hockey? So I guess I was lucky. Um, when I walked in here, almost all of that exists already, at least on the band side. Uh, the only thing I did differently with the band side when I started here was there used to be a class that was actually called Beginning Band. Um, and it was for beginners, it was very small. And then there was Concert Band, which was still a seventh grade class. And then there was Symphonic Band, which was the high level eighth grade class. And my first year, I had too many eighth graders, or I guess my second year, there were too many eighth graders to fit into symphonic bands. So we split that into two symphonic bands and called one of them Wind Ensemble, uh, and then took the beginners and rolled them into Concert Band. And that was kind of the structure we've used since then. A compilation of the pieces played in the Hopkins Orchestra.